So I've been in the process of trying to fix and modernize the Z4, and one of the things that I really needed to get around to fixing were the roll bar hoops. They buzzed incessantly no matter what speed I was going, and I could not have that anymore. So the first thing I had to do was remove one of the mounts to the uh, factory BMW wind deflector, which was glued on with all of its might. It took a lot of strength to get that off, but I got it. The next part is we got to actually remove the uh, silver roll hoop so we can put some padding behind it and hopefully, hopefully get this buzzing to stop. And working my way around with a vehicle trim removal tool, very handy by the way, don't use screwdrivers for vehicle trim, uh, I was able to pop it off. Now unfortunately a couple of the clips did break, but this is car is a 2005, that's like what 15 years old at this point? It, it's gonna happen, so hopefully it wasn't uh, enough clips that it's not gonna go back on or cause even more buzzing, but hey, we'll see. I started trying to get the front off and then saw how tight that the uh, front was actually on, realized that, okay, maybe it's just the backs that are buzzing. And since it was easy enough to pop the backs off, I figure I'll start there. Next I popped out the little center wind deflector area from there, just in case that's also what was causing the buzz. Hey, again, it's easy enough to put back in, so let's do a little bit of experimenting, shall we? So everything is clean and wiped down, and as you can see, there's some little foam pads from the factory in there, but my plan is to add more. So I found some uh, just black, thin uh, foam weather stripping, and I'm going to cut a few slices off, pack it in there, and hopefully that'll create enough pressure against these pieces that when I'm driving down the road, they won't vibrate anymore. So we'll see. Now, there's a famous line in uh, instruction manuals that always goes, installation is the reverse of removal. Uh, that could not be further from the truth in this part because I, like I said earlier, broke some clips. I didn't think it'd be that important because most of the clips were still there. But unfortunately, the ones that broke were, I guess, pretty important in uh, strategic places. So with the added cushioning providing a little bit of extra pressure, it wasn't allowing the uh, back to go on. Um, to the mount anymore, so it's time to go to plan B. And plan B, of course, is to remove all of the roll bar hoop decoration. The trim, the mount, everything, and just have exposed metal. And why did I go this route? Well, I could have just bought some more roll bar covers for about 40 to 50 bucks from the internet. However, uh, while I was back there and I had part of the actual uh, factory roll bar exposed, I noticed that it was painted the same black as the car. And I thought, man, I wonder what that looks like. So I went to work removing the, uh, the roll bar trim mounts from the actual roll bar, and what was left was a black metal roll bar, the same color as the car, and I think looks a lot better than just the silver pieces. And that's not me just trying to say, this is the better solution because I broke the trim pieces. No, I actually genuinely think this is a better looking solution. Which is kind of weird because my whole um, point of fixing this rattle was, first off, it's a rattle, you gotta fix that, but also I was trying to, you know, modernize and fix things on the BMW and I ended up removing stuff from it and giving it more of a classic retro roadster look, but I think it works. Of course now the argument could be made that wind noise is going to be a lot worse, but considering that I've been operating my top manually for so long that I haven't even used the BMW wind deflector, I don't think it's going to be much of a difference, so hey, bring it on. Yeah. 